Wales and England share an unmarked border from Chester to Ross on Wye, a land that has been fought over since the beginning of history. The most important market town in Shropshire is Shrewsbury, thought to be the finest medieval town in the country. Here in the Shropshire Hills, the rugged mountains of Wales give way to the gentle vales of England. You'll find bakewell pudding, Welsh cakes, leek soup and real ale, along with the odd character. Well, Mistress, my name is Brother Oswin and I'm a medieval monk and I walk around the remains of Shrewsbury's uh, monastery and just give a bit of a feeling to, to the pilgrims, as we like to call them, as to the life of a medieval monk. Shrewsbury already had five churches when the Normans invaded. Later it was Edward I's base for the campaigns against the Welsh. Shrewsbury, its castle and Benedictine monastery, is the spiritual home of the fictional medieval detective, Brother Cadfell. There's always someone trying to solve an age-old murder. Yeah. Are you impressed? Oh, yeah, very impressed. <laughs> there you are. You've just been declared a monk. <laughs> <laughs> Everything in this garden was known in the 12th century and it was quite a challenge because uh, for, for argument's sake we weren't allowed to plant trees, it's an archaeological site so there were no trees. It's a tiny site, we're trying to reproduce acres of medieval monastery garden within a, a twelfth of an acre. Shrewsbury sits strategically on a loop of the River Severn. The once booming market town was bypassed by the Industrial Revolution. Happily, its narrow lanes and fine buildings have been preserved. England is a nation of gardeners. In Quarry Park, Margaret Thrower keeps a watchful eye on the legacy of work left by her late father, popular gardening television personality, Percy Thrower. The, the, the dingle is a small area set within the Quarry Park. Um, and we always say it's the hidden jewel of Shrewsbury. Um, it's always very colourful, but here you can see the way it used to be done at sort of the turn of the century. A road called the Hidden Highway carries us towards Ludlow, along narrow winding roads passing Powys Castle, built in the 14th century as a fortress for Welsh princes. Nearby in a corner of Shropshire are the few survivors of the ancient Mortimer Forest. And in the middle, on the site of an Iron Age fort, lies the hill village of Clun. It's tiny, but has enough room for a ruined castle, a fine church, and a 16th century humpbacked bridge. It also has 15 pubs, its own breed of sheep, and many a bed and breakfast. Across the forest to another hill town, Ludlow. Ludlow started as a castle town, in the mid-15th century, the town came into the possession of, of royalty and the king, Edward IV, used this as a place to uh, bring up his two young sons away from the plagues and political intrigues of London. The court came too, and these nobles ended up governing Wales and the border counties. They ruled as the Council of Marches. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.